Hello, I'm Principal Brian Brockett, and I want to welcome you to our first virtual Senior Award Ceremony. Uh, I want to start by thanking all of our donors and presenters that are here this evening to recognize the outstanding achievement of our students and to help and support them as they move forward beyond Carlsbad High School. I also want to say a huge thank you to Ms. Leah Becker and our amazing counseling team for all of their work in putting this virtual ceremony together tonight. Not only are we here to uh, honor great academic achievement, but we're also going to be awarding more than $100,000 in scholarships this evening to support our students in their next steps beyond Carlsbad High School. None of this would be possible without all of you, and I thank you and appreciate your support. When I first came to Carlsbad High School several years ago, one of the things that drew me to the school was the great sense of tradition that uh, Carlsbad High School owns. And uh, these next awards that I'm gonna present uh, are a great representation of that tradition. These are our perpetual academic trophies, which date back to 1959. And this year's recipients will have their names added to those perpetual trophies that sit in the office uh, and have done so since that time. Uh, it's a great uh, backstory on these uh, particular awards whose original sponsors included uh, a plumber, uh, the football team doctor, uh, a local insurance agent, and, and local ranchers around the Carlsbad area at the time. Uh, it's a great tradition. Uh, you can see the names in there uh, when you go into the office uh, along the trophy case there. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to add these students uh, from 2020 to the legacy that those uh, trophies represent at Carlsbad High School. So without further ado, let me present the Kentner Biology Award to Nick Francis. This year's Anderson Robinson Physics Award goes to Sheda Moesi. This year's McClellan Language Arts Award goes to Ella Carlos. This year's Kelly Mathematics Award goes to Aaron Siegel. The Christensen History Award for 2020 goes to Finn Corrigan. And the Paul Music Award for 2020 goes to Kelly Picton. Congratulations to each of you. In addition to the subject area awards, I would like to recognize the Carlsbad High School 2020 valedictorian, Ian Johnson. Uh, Ian earned a 4.61 grade point average and will be attending Caltech in the fall. In addition to Ian, we have co-salutatorians this year, Shada Moesi and Edward Gardner, each of whom earned a 4.56 grade point average. Shada will be attending MIT in the fall, and Edward is headed towards Dartmouth. Congratulations to each of you on your outstanding academic achievement, and we wish you the best in the future. The Jamie Marie Sheldahl Memorial Scholarship is a $1,500 visual and performing fine arts scholarship awarded to a graduating Carlsbad High School senior. Jamie Sheldahl graduated in the CHS class of 2004 with honors. Jamie was active in CHS choirs, including two years in Sound Express, Photography, Photography Club President, and Yearbook Staff Photographer. She lettered in track and field and was on the academic team and CHS Academy in Photography. Jamie was a well-rounded student who respected others, was kind and compassionate and friendly. Her passions were singing, photography, traveling, her studies, and her family and her friends. This year's recipient displays these same qualities and achievements. The 2020 scholarship for $1,500 is awarded to Nicholas Francis. Congratulations. The Jason Harper Memorial Scholarship is given to deserving seniors who excel at mathematics and or volleyball. Our first recipient played volleyball and excelled in the classroom. Congratulations to Stella Muehlhausen. Our second recipient not only was captain on the boys team for two seasons, also excelled in mathematics. Congratulations to Tommy Caps. Both recipients will be receiving $1,000 scholarships for continuing education. Congratulations. My daughter Rebecca was full of life. Her smile would light up the room. And although beautiful on the outside, she was even more beautiful on the inside. She never felt, though, like she fit in and struggled to see her beauty. But that made her have such a heart for people, especially for those who struggled to fit in like her. Those that were bullied or teased, Rebecca would make it a point to talk to them or to cheer them up. 
Since her passing, I've received numerous messages from people saying how much Rebecca meant and that she took the time to care, to talk to them or to make them feel special. There's no finer legacy than to know that your child made a difference in someone's life. Rebecca was born 14 weeks early and weighed only two pounds and four ounces. She had to overcome much adversity in her short life. When she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia at 15 years old, she was determined to beat it. I watched her show more courage, bravery, and selflessness in those seven months than anyone could imagine. This year, we are honored to give Rebecca scholarship to Mia Penrod. We know that she exemplifies the same courage, perseverance, and loving spirit as Rebecca. Congratulations, Mia, and many blessings on your future endeavors. Hi, I'm here to present the Lori Peacock Memorial Scholarship. Lori Peacock was a phenomenal teacher who taught in the Carlsbad School District for 18 years, 17 years at Carlsbad, in both the science department and math department. Lori's school spirit and passion for teaching further extended to academic league where she coached for 15 years. Lori had an infectious laugh and it was amazing to see her as she connected with both students and teachers. Lori made a positive difference in people's lives. In January of 2016, Lori lost her fight to cancer. In memory of her dedication to the profession and her love of helping others, this scholarship was established to help a CHS senior who is continuing on to a higher education learning environment to study either science and or math. It is with great pleasure that we are able to honor two students this year. Each student will receive $1,000 to be paid to his or her college. The first recipient decided way back in seventh grade to become a surgeon. His interest in science was further piqued by Mr. Walker, Mr. Alexander, and Mr. Kistler. Not only does he excel at school, but he is a national level competitor in swimming. He will be using his love for science to study kinematics with an emphasis on pre-med, as well as swim for Mar William and Mary. We are pleased to award the Lori Peacock Memorial Scholarship to Connor Mess. Thank you. Hi, my name is Candy Chesnut, and I am here to present the second recipient with a $1,000 scholarship in the name of Lori Peacock. This student has continuously excelled in his science classes and has also participated in many activities and sports outside of school and through ASB. The student will be headed off to Cal Berkeley in the fall semester pursuing a degree in molecular environmental biology. A big congratulations to Mr. Max Piper. We are so proud of you and can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations, Max. Thank you. We are pleased to announce the 36th annual John Ernst Stillman Memorial Scholarship awarded to a CHS class of 2020 graduate. This year's $1,500 scholarship is on honor of John's mother, Gladys, who will be celebrating her 100th birthday this 4th of July. The recipient is a student that is selected by faculty and staff that demonstrates the characteristics of good citizenship, including respect for others, strength of character, and living each day with a positive outlook, unaffected by peer pressure. John could say no to peer pressure and had strong feelings of right or wrong. John Stillman attended Cal Poly Slow. This year's recipient embodies each of these characteristics and is headed to Cal Poly Slow this fall. The recipient of the 2020 John Ernst Stillman Memorial Scholarship is Tommy Capps. Congratulations, Tommy. Hi everybody, Mr. K here, and I am honored to be presenting to you the Stephen Edgerly Memorial Scholarship Award on behalf of his family, friends, colleagues, and students. So, Mr. Edgerly, fondly referred to as the Edge, cared deeply about his students and their success. The Stephen Edgerly Memorial Scholarship Award is a way for his family, friends, colleagues, and especially students so touched by his life to carry on his legacy of support and encouragement. Mr. Edgerly has deep ties to the Carlsbad community and alumnus of Magnolia, Valley Middle, and Carlsbad High. Mr. Edgerly returned to teach in uh, Carlsbad at Pacific Rim Elementary and Aviar Oaks Middle School. Mr. Edgerly was a larger-than-life figure on the campuses where he taught and had a lasting impact on both the students and teachers with whom he worked. Mr. Edgerly was also the president of the Carlsbad Friends of the Arts nonprofit group dedicated to bringing high-quality arts and arts education to our city. Mr. Edgerly had a passion for athletics, music, art, and teaching. 
He was given numerous awards for sports, baseball, and football, and music, playing the French horn, but was especially proud of being the most inspirational player. So I've only met people with positive things to say about him. He really, literally made me smile on a daily basis. And my favorite memory of Edge was just him with a microphone in his hand, literally getting hundreds of kids to dance to music during recess and lunch. It was awesome to see. So it's an honor to name out these four scholarship award recipients. The first one, Emma Lapica. Next, Rachel Kramer. Sage Lesur and Nick Francis. Congratulations, everyone. I know he'd be super proud of you. Take care. I'm honored to be able to present the Barry Pashby Scholarship to a senior graduating from Carlsbad High's Academy Internship Program. Jeff Pashby has generously funded this scholarship for the last 14 years in memory of his uncle. Jeff was the first year of our internship program back in 1996 and saw such a benefit to the program that he decided to offer a $1,500 scholarship for our interns. This year's scholarship recipient interned at Tri-Cities Medical Emergency Department, which confirmed that she wants to devote herself to a career in healthcare as a nurse. Our recipient wrote in her application, this internship program has given me the opportunity and honor to interact with healthcare professionals at work supporting patients. They are real heroes and are doing what they love and making a difference in the world. We agree and are happy to award the Barry Pashby Scholarship to Sarah Viditel. Uh, first, I uh, just uh, hope that everybody's safe, healthy, um, as we navigate this temporary but uh, unusual life. So be well. Um, I'm happy to be here today to present the Damian Martin Memorial Scholarship um, and honor my good friend. First, I'll tell you a little bit about Damien, and then I'll introduce this year's recipient. So Damien graduated from Carlsbad High School in 1988. He was involved in various school functions, uh, such as air bands, and he played on the water polo team. Uh, after graduating from Carlsbad High, he went on to college and eventually became a popular teacher. Um, he was, loved the outdoors. He played golf, went mountain biking, skied, did some skydiving and he loved camping. Uh, he and I spent a lot of time camping and fishing and just laughing in the outdoors. Uh, also spent time over at Calavera mountain biking. So I've got some great, great memories of my buddy. Um, he was just 34 years old when he crashed his motorcycle, um, left behind a wife <clears throat> and two kids. So he certainly missed, um, but I'm happy to be here to, to present this award to a deserving student in the memory of my good friend. So let me tell you about this year's recipient. Um, this is the 11th year of the Damian Martin Memorial Scholarship, and this year's recipient is one of the most impressive I've had the honor to recognize. Uh, I don't have time to tell you about all of his achievements, but uh, here are a few. So academically, he demonstrated excellence, and as a result of his timeless efforts, he's a CHS Royal Lancer, and this year's Solutorian. Uh, he's had a positive impact on our community and at Carlsbad High. He was president of the CHS Best Buddies program, and for five years he coached basketball uh, for the Special Olympics. I've heard from other students that uh, he's quite the impressive lacrosse player. Um, he was a varsity starter for four years, co-captain, uh, a defensive MVP, and first team all league for two years. And not surprisingly, he was also a scholar athlete all four years. His career goal is to work in the sports industry and be in a position of leadership where he can have a positive impact on people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And I fully believe he will achieve his goal. Um, I ask for three letters of recommendation uh, when a student applies for the scholarship one from a teacher, and two from peers. I'm hoping to gain insights into the student as a person and how they treated others during their course of uh, their CHS career. Uh, the letters I received for this person impressed and touched me. Uh, his peers spoke about a strong leader on the lacrosse field, but also a mentor of other students in the classroom. He's a soft-spoken leader, unselfish leader, and one who doesn't abuse his position of power. As for the teacher recommendation, 
Uh, I'll sum it up with one sentence that she provided. I missed him dearly when he left my class. So very impressive uh, and meaningful. So and I believe that Damien would have great respect for this person's accomplishments and his character. So it's my pleasure to award the Damien Martin Memorial Scholarship to Edward Gardner. And Edward, I'm sorry that uh, we're not on stage together. I can't shake your hand, give you a hug. But uh, hey, go out there and do good. Thank you. Good evening. This is the 12th year that the TJ for Z Memorial Scholarship has been awarded. TJ was a good student who played football and golf for CHS. He loved the outdoors, all kinds of music, learning new things, and most of all, his friends and family. TJ started his freshman year at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, but was diagnosed with osteogenic sarcoma over winter break. He bravely fought the disease for five and a half years, but it eventually took his life. We, TJ's family, are proud to honor him by helping to continue the love of learning for another CHS graduate. And this year's TJ for Z Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Gabby Hendricks. Congratulations, Gabby. We are so proud of you. Thank you. Today we are presenting a scholarship in honor of my Nana, Joyce Kistler, who was a school nurse and taught health and psychology at CHS for nearly 40 years. She was passionate about teaching and caring for her students who in turn loved her for her unapologetic uniqueness, limitless compassion, relentless advocacy, and unquestioning acceptance of others. To qualify for this scholarship, the recipient must demonstrate these qualities in their daily life, in addition to pursuing a higher education in psychology. When I learned of the committee's choice, I asked to present this award on behalf of my family, because the student is a good friend who I believe embodies the spirit of this scholarship. After witnessing her constant commitment to service throughout high school with best buddies in her own happy period club, I am very happy to present the Joyce Kistler Memorial Scholarship to Maddie Ward. On behalf of the Corgan and Kistler families, I extend our congratulations and good luck wishes with your studies in biology and psychology on a pre-med track at UCLA. It's always an honor every year for me to pass out the Banning Caps Memorial Scholarship. Banning was uh, one of my best friends growing up, uh, Carlsbad High grad and homecoming king in 1994, and uh, one of the best surfers to ever come out of Carlsbad. Uh, but more importantly, he lit up any room uh, that he walked into with his personality. And this year, it's an honor for me to uh, pass it out to Olivia Sensaplano as the recipient of the Banning Caps Memorial Scholarship. Olivia was on the surf team all four years, uh, one of the top longboarders. Uh, but just like Banning, she always had a big smile on her face and a great personality to go along with that surfing talent. So. Uh, Olivia will be going to Miracosta in the fall, and uh, again, uh, it's a real honor for me to pass out this uh, memorial scholarship to her. Hello, my name is Haley. I'm Chase Corderoni's sister. Chase was one of the most honest, determined, and talented young men I have ever known. Chase lost his battle to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2009. Our family has chosen a student that has demonstrated their dedication to their community, school involvement, volunteer work, and outstanding academic achievement. This student has emulated Chase's character traits, including compassion, kindness, responsibility, and respect for others. This well-rounded senior has proven to be a man who, like Chase, has made an impact on the world. This self-motivated young man is a scholar athlete and is captain of the varsity lacrosse team, has been involved in musical theater, worked at a sports agency to save for college, led the Special Olympics basketball team, and is salutatorian of the class of 2020 and many other activities. He has chosen to attend Dartmouth in New Hampshire in the fall, where he will be studying quantitative social science and econ and theater. His older brothers who graduated from CHS were both awarded the award a few years back. Legacy means a great deal to our family and the Carlsbad community. I am deeply honored to award the Chase Ryan Corderoni Memorial Scholarship of 2020 to Edward Gardner. 
On behalf of the DeSino family, I'd like to award two scholarships of $1,000 each in memory of Tom DeSino to students first in their families to attend college. Tom believed in working hard to achieve one's goals by being the first in his family to graduate from college and medical school. The family hopes the recipients of these scholarships will follow his example. The first scholarship goes to Fatima Salazar. Fatima has worked hard to help support her family while undertaking a rigorous academic schedule and extracurricular activities. She has already demonstrated the ability to work hard and succeed. The second scholarship goes to Joao Cojelo. As an immigrant from Brazil, Joao had to learn a new language while adjusting to high school. He's been extremely successful academically as well as on the soccer field as captain of the varsity team this year. The DeSino family wishes the best for both of these deserving students. Today, it is my honor to present the Eric Sears Memorial Scholarship to a very deserving student that has demonstrated outstanding leadership and purpose in life. The Eric Sears Memorial Scholarship has been established in Eric's honor to encourage Carlsbad High School graduates to further their education at any post-secondary endeavor. My name is Asia Ward, and I was a recipient of the award last year, to which I am very grateful. I grew up in the same neighborhood as Eric and had the pleasure of knowing him personally. Eric was a kind, compassionate, caring friend to all, and his smile will shine in our hearts forever. Eric's most memorable part of high school was being on the cross country team. He loved the team spirit and camaraderie of his fellow teammates. In 2002, he traveled to Australia with several peers as part of the West Coast cross country team to participate in the Down Under Games in Sydney. Although I did not participate in sports in high school and have never been too athletic, I feel connected to Eric's high school journey. I found my passion for writing during my time at CHS, ultimately landing me in South Africa and exposing me to a love for the environment that Eric also shared. Eric also had passions for art, photography, mountain biking, and playing guitar. While most of my memories of Eric are seeing him skating with my older brother in the front yard, it was interesting to know of all of our similar interests. This past year, I found myself on the East Coast, studying journalism and graphic design at Hofstra University, diving headfirst into my passions. After high school, Eric leaped at his opportunities, anticipating en entering the engineering program at San Diego State University. Although polar opposite than my career path, I find inspiration to pursue my goals from Eric's drive and attitude. And I hope the new recipient of this award will be able to find a commonality to Eric in her own experience. It is my honor to present the Eric Sears Memorial Scholarship for $1,500 to Shada Moezi. Shada will be attending MIT in the fall to study computer science and engineering, similarly to Eric. In closing, as you enter this new, exciting and challenging chapter of your life, don't lose sight of what is truly important. Sitting here on Eric Sears Memorial Bench donated by the Cunningham family where Eric and his best friend used to play, I would like to leave you with one of Eric's inspirational quotes. Life is a grand and wonderful adventure if you let it be. Life was meant to be lived, not to be worked away as time goes right out the window. Don't be so caught up in things that you cannot control and embrace the simple pleasures. Hi, my name is Shada Moezi. I'd like to thank the Sears family for providing me with this scholarship. This scholarship will allow me to pursue my dreams and receive a degree in computer science and engineering from MIT and inspire change through technology. The next four awards will be presented together. The Evangeline Gaslin Bradshaw Memorial Scholarship and Citizenship Trophy and the Thomas Hammond Memorial Scholarship and Citizenship Trophy. They are presented together because of their similarities. They were both very active in school. Tom was the ASB president and Vang was on our class council all four years. They graduated two years apart, Tom in 1966 and Vang in 1968. Both attended Carlsbad schools from kindergarten on and both in teaching careers. They died one month apart at 32 years of age and tragically were both killed by drunk drivers 38 years ago. The citizenship trophies are in recognition of students who have been selected by faculty. These two students have been selected because they display outstanding behavior both in and out of the classroom, 
display a high level of school spirit and enthusiasm, are admired and respected by peers and friends to all. The Evangeline Gaslam Citizenship Trophy recipient is Maddie Ward. The Tom Hammond Citizenship Trophy recipient is Tommy Capps. The Evangeline Gaslam Bradshaw Memorial Scholarship recipient is a student who will be pursuing music education and displays the following traits. Admire and respected by peers, kind, helpful, and a friend to all. This year's $500 award goes to Lauren Blue. The Tom Hammond Memorial Scholarship is a $400 award for a student that has good character and is a strong academic student. This year's recipient is Finn Corrigan. Congratulations. Good evening. The Erin Gunner Memorial Scholarship Foundation was founded in March 2013 in honor of our son Erin, who passed away in July of 2012. Erin was a graduate of Carlsbad High School and San Diego State University. Erin loved CHS and SDSU, and he made it his mission in life to constantly bring together his friends and acquaintances. Erin chose to, found the good, to find the good in everyone he met, and everyone he met felt as though he was a best friend. It is our wish that those who receive this scholarship continue in his spirit of friendship, thereby making this world a better place in any career path he or she chooses. With our eighth annual benefit concert canceled this year, we relied on friends, family, and Carlsbad members for monetary donations. And once again, we are overwhelmed with the love and support given to this endeavor. With your continued support and the communities, we shall continue to grow and be able to bring more scholarships to Carlsbad High School seniors. This year, it is a blessing that we can give out 11 $1,000 scholarships. They will be named in no particular order, and I do apologize in advance if I mispronounce any of your names. Attending Miracosta to study nursing, Madison Smith. Headed to UC Berkeley with a major in biological sciences pre-med, Shayla Eslampour. With a major in neuroscience, at UC Santa Cruz, Haley Harway. Majoring in marine biology at the University of Hawaii, Samuel Wardlow. Headed to Dartmouth College to study quantitative social science, economy, theater, Edward Gardner. Studying communications at UC Santa Barbara, Shuao Cuello. Majoring in History and English at Miracosta College, Nick Trotta. Headed to Humboldt State University to study Sociology, Criminal Justice, Jasmine Lemus. Majoring in Psychology at Fordham University, Ariana Bird. Studying Mechanical Engineering at UC Berkeley, Ethan Long and headed to UC San Diego with a major in computer engineering, Edward Burns. We wish all of you great success in your college career. Thank you. The Carlsbad Evening Rotary offers CHS graduating seniors four $1,000 awards to students that are pursuing post-secondary vocational training or pursuing higher education at one of the local community colleges or four-year colleges in San Diego County. This year's recipients of the Carlsbad Evening Rotary Scholarships are Phoenix Ferriman, Luis Joffre Bruguera, Rachel Kramer, and Maggie Dunn. Congratulations. The Jane McGee Athletic Scholarship is Jane's legacy to Carlsbad High School. Jane wanted to establish it while she was still alive so that she could support student athletes who have embraced good fitness practices and want to continue their education and competition at the college level. This scholarship is designed to offset some expenses towards entering college. 
Our first scholarship recipient is Mason Becker, a four-year varsity scholar athlete who competed in track and field in long jump, triple jump, and sprints. Mason will be attending Boise State University where he will major in engineering and compete in track and field. Our second scholarship recipient is Rachel Medina, a four-year varsity scholar multi-athlete who competed in track and field, cross country, and played soccer. Rachel has committed to Castleton University where she will major in criminal justice, play soccer, and compete in track and field. Congratulations, Mason and Rachel. Bruce Paul from the CHS class of 1967 donates a $250 scholarship each year to the recipient of the Paul Music Award, which is one of our annual perpetual trophies. Congratulations to Kelly Picton. I'm here to pass out the uh, Carlsbad Board Rider Scholarship to Joshua Drake, and Joshua was on our surf team the last three years. Um, I had the honor to coach him all three years that he was a part of the surf team. Josh was someone that always uh, brought a smile and uh, something funny to say. Uh, he was one of the best surfers, or if not the best surfer on the surf team, uh, but his personality was uh, that, that he always was smiling, always brought something funny to the table, um, creative aspect, and involved in a lot of different things. So it's an honor for me to pass that this uh, out to Joshua on, on behalf of the Carlsbad Board Riders Club. Hello, Carlsbad High Surf Team. How are you guys doing? This is Taylor here, and I'm here to present an award to you, one of you lucky guys or girls. Uh, basically, we have a $1,000 scholarship on behalf of the Carlsbad Board Riders and presented by Reef. And that big winner will be a very humble, hardworking guy here of the name of Dino Barham. So hopefully I didn't butcher your name and congrats on going to college. It's gonna be a blast, I'm sure. And I'm sure we'll see you blowing tail out still at Carlsbad plenty of times. So have a good one, you. Hello seniors, my name is Tom Reed. I am the president of the Carlsbad High School Alumni Association. Let me be the first to welcome you to the Carlsbad High School Alumni Association. We hope the four years you spent at Carlsbad High has been the best years of your life up till now. We also hope that you will stay connected with your fellow alums by being part of the Carlsbad High School Alumni Association. We would like to thank Dr. Brockett and all the teachers for the tremendous amount of work they did to teach you this year. We would like to thank the counselors and us personally, Leah Becker, for assisting us with the scholarship award. We would like to thank the alumni who have generously donated to make this scholarship possible. I would also like to thank the Carlsbad High School Alumni Association Scholarship Committee for reading all the essays anonymously to select our recipient. And now here is Kim to tell you who is our recipient this year. Hi, my name is Kim Shulkevich, and I'm one of the founding members of the Carlsbad High School Alumni Association and an even prouder member of the class of 83. We're here today to award a deserving senior our second annual scholarship. The class of 2020 has, to, has had to face many challenges this year, and we're so proud of them for overcoming and rising above all of these different obstacles. Our seniors were asked to write an essay on the five things they couldn't live without. Our winner chose five everyday items and what these items meant to them. So without further ado, and a drum roll please, the Carlsbad High School Alumni Association Scholarship goes to Nick Francis. Nick comes from a long line of Lancers and we couldn't be prouder to welcome him into the Lancer family. So Nick, take the scholarship, go and do great things, and don't forget to come back and let us know how things have gone. And remember, join the Alumni Association. Nick, we're so proud of you and congratulations. The Optimist Club of Carlsbad is a local volunteer driven organization that has been supporting the youth of North County for over 50 years. This year's $500 scholarship is awarded to Stella Muehlhausen. Hi, I'm Beverly Charles. I'm the Vice President of Philanthropy for the North Coast Assistance League. Um, we're a volunteer organization that serves the communities of Carlsbad, Oceanside, and Vista. Um, we give out shoes, clothing, and health kits, and books to the libraries of the three areas. Uh, and this is going to be the first year that we're going to give out a scholarship. 
we're giving one scholarship to each for each high school in the three areas. Um, it was a real hard decision this year because we had a lot of fine applicants. Very impressed with the students at Carlsbad High School. But this boy has a very strong passion for volunteering. And over his high school years, he has completed over 3,000 hours in volunteering. He received a civic duty award from the superintendent in Carlsbad for his efforts in recycling and setting up a peer tutoring program. And he also earned the President's Volunteer Award. He plans to major in bioengineering so he can give back to the community. It is with my pleasure to present Burrell Patel. This check for $2,500 from the Assistance League. We know he's done such a wonderful job at high school. And we know it's going to continue with his university studies. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Uh, North Coast does a lot for our community. And it's great that they're giving back as well through other ways. Thank you. Thank you. The Carlsbad High School PTSA is pleased to announce two exemplary students that have received the first local PTSA scholarship at CHS. Due to the recent events of COVID-19, we utilized our counselors to help us narrow down candidates based on membership grades, recommendations, volunteer hours, dedications, and commitment to our community. These students, Jasmine Lemus and Roberto Morphine, will receive $500 each to be used towards study at an institution of their choice. Congratulations. We commend you on your goals and contribution to CHS over the years. Thank you on behalf of the CHS PTSA. Hi. My name is Jose de Anda, and I'm a member of the Kiwanis Club of Carlsbad. The Kiwanis Club of Carlsbad is a service organization that's been active since 1976. Our goal is to work in the community towards the children. We are also a member of Kiwanis International who serves the children of the world. This year, we are very happy to announce that we have a $1,000 recipient for one of our scholarships. It gives me great pleasure to announce Kadra Edie as our recipient for Carlsbad High School. Kadra is an exceptional student. She not only excels in academics, but she also excels in sports. She plans to study medicine and has been accepted into UCSD. In addition to that, she has maintained a GPA over 4.0 and it has logged in over 230 service hours. She also achieved the gold award, which is the highest achievement that a Girl Scout can have. In addition to that, she has served as a Carlsbad Unified School District champion. We are very proud of Kadra Edie. Congratulations and may all of your educational goals be achieved. Thank you. Good afternoon, students, faculty, friends, and proud parents. This is Leah Becker presenting on behalf of Steve Alquist, the chairman of the Carlsbad High Noon Rotary Club Scholarship Committee, and a proud Lancer graduating 51 years ago from CHS in the class of 1969. The class of 69 celebrated their 50th year reunion last October. To celebrate the 50th reunion, alumni generously donated to pay it forward by creating two scholarships to deserving CHS graduates in the class of 2019. They were so impressed by the students that this year again, the alumni have donated funds to create two scholarships for the CHS class of 2020. The reunion committee wants to thank the Carlsbad High Noon Rotary Club for administering the application and selection processes and administering the collection of donations and payment of the scholarships. The students selected were chosen using many of the same criteria that the Rotary Club uses in selecting students for scholarships, and in addition, a special emphasis was used to, sel to select two students that truly exemplify the Lancer spirit. We are honored this year to provide one scholarship in the amount of $690 to an avid student that has persevered through some difficult times. She intends to take classes that focus on education, social work, and engineering to decide what career to pursue. Her counselor described her as a young leader in the most important way. She leads by example. They went on to say she's an amazing teammate on her soccer teams. Her other teachers and coaches are as impressed as I am with her positivity and work ethic. Her Lancer spirit is fully demonstrated in how she gets involved. She's been an intern for the Migrant Education Program, worked at Community Resource Center, is a member of the Dale Cultura Club, a member of Having a Voice, member of National Hispanic Institute, and is a tutor to students. 
we are honored to pay it forward to a student that truly represents the Lancer spirit, Ariana Villanueva. Congratulations. In further celebration of the 50th reunion, the alumni of 69 are providing a scholarship in the amount of $1,069 to a student who, like Ariana, truly represents the Lancer spirit. She has made CHS and her community better by her diligence and willingness to help others. She has numerous awards and recognition and has demonstrated leadership by involvement in many programs. This is just a short list of her involvement and accomplishments. Happy period, CHS chapter president and founder, national ambassador, broadcast journalism, CHS TV executive producer, earning honorable mention, 2019 STN weather report and producer of 2019 broadcast pacemaker winner, ASB activities director, young leaders in healthcare, chapter president, Best Buddies Treasurer, Academic Science Club Founder and President, Varsity Academic League and Former Team Manager, CHS Culture Committee Member, JEA and NSPA Excellent in Broadcast Anchor 2019, a Royal Lancer, an AP Scholar with Distinction, and Homecoming Court. We are most honored to award the Class of 1969 Scholarship to Maddie Ward. And now, scholarships presented by the Carlsbad High Noon Rotary Club. We are honored this year to provide 15 scholarships to deserving CHS students. The Carlsbad High Noon Rotary Club was chartered in 1980 and presently has about 100 members. The club is comprised of professional men and women who live and or work in Carlsbad. The membership is very active and committed to the Rotary principle of service above self. We sponsor an active Interact Club at CHS and some of this year's 15 recipients are members of the CHS Interact Club. Rotary also supports the AVID program at CHS with a business and ethics conference, which unfortunately this year was canceled due to COVID-19, and for well over 20 years, we have provided scholarships to deserving AVID students, and we are again this year proud to provide five CHS students with AVID scholarships. Each year, High Noon Rotary sends students to the annual weekend Rotary Youth Leadership Conference in Idlewild. We award a RILA scholarship to two deserving CHS juniors each year, and one of this year's scholarship recipients happened to attend the RILA conference last year. The club holds two large events each year to raise funds to support our local and international service projects and our vocational projects such as AVID, RILA, and scholarships. The annual October and Brewfest held at Holiday Park generates tens of thousands of dollars to support these charitable causes. We appreciate and very much need the community support to run these events, including Interact students and AVID students, among others. These fundraising events and others over the years have well raised well over $350,000 to enhance the continued education of Carlsbad's young people through our scholarship program. Qualifications for the Carlsbad High Noon Rotary Scholarships and the Carlsbad High Noon Rotary Club Foundation AVID Scholarships include academic performance, extracurricular activities and involvement, demonstrated leadership, community service, and others. Student applicants must attend a high school within the Carlsbad Unified School District. In the interest of time, we cannot recognize all of the individual and extraordinary accomplishments these students have achieved during their high school years. Suffice it to say that we are most proud of these deserving students and hope that these scholarship monies will help in the furtherance of their academic endeavors. A scholarship in the amount of $1,250 for a student who will attend Cal Poly San Luis Obispo majoring in environmental science to Jack Wetter. A scholarship in the amount of $1,250 awarded to a student who will attend Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, majoring in agriculture and bioresource engineering to Sydney Dresser. A scholarship in the amount of $1,250 awarded to a student who will attend UC San Diego with a major in computer science to Edward Burns. A scholarship in the amount of $1,250 to a student who will attend Harvey Mudd College with a major in mathematics and continue education in humanities to Magdalena Jones. A scholarship in the amount of $1,250 awarded to a student who will attend UC San Diego with a major in human biology to Kaitra Edi. A scholarship in the amount of $1,750 awarded to a student who will be attending UC San Diego with a major in biomedical engineering to Viral Patel. A scholarship in the amount of $1,750 awarded to a student who will attend Dartmouth College with a major in quantitative social science to Edward Gardner. A scholarship in the amount of $1,750 awarded to a student who will attend the University of Washington with a major in business to Maddie Dufal. A scholarship in the amount of $1,750 awarded to a student who will attend UCLA with a major in psychobiology and pre-med in pursuit of a career as a physician or surgeon to Maddie Ward. 
a scholarship in the amount of $1,750 awarded to a student who will attend UCLA with a double major in business economics and social entrepreneurship to Rohan Bora. Awarding an AVID scholarship in the amount of $700 and an AVID award given to the top five AVID seniors in the amount of $350 for a total of $1,050 to a student who will attend CSU Chico majoring in business administration to Kristen Opp. Awarding an AVID scholarship in the amount of $700 and an AVID award in the amount of $350 for a total of $1,050 to a student who will attend CSU Chico majoring in business administration to Michaela Nordquist. Awarding an AVID scholarship in the amount of $700 and the Rotary scholarship in the amount of $1,250 for a total of $1,950 to a student who will major in sociology and will attend community college with the goal of attending Humboldt State to Ariana Villanueva. Awarding an AVID scholarship in the amount of $700 and the Rotary scholarship in the amount of $1,250 and an AVID award in the amount of $350 for a total of $2,300 to a student who will attend Sonoma State University with a major in sociology to Ana Laura Flores. Awarding an AVID scholarship in the amount of $700, the Rotary scholarship in the amount of $1,250, and an AVID award in the amount of $350 for a total of $2,300 to a student who will attend Humboldt University with a major in sociology to Jasmine Lemus. Congratulations winning graduates. The Carlsbad Village Optimist Club Scholarship is a $1,300 scholarship that is given to a student pursuing higher education at a local community college. This year's recipient is Ariana Villanueva. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Michelle Ginn, and I am the CEO of the Carlsbad Educational Foundation. I'm pleased to share a heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2020 from Carlsbad High School. On behalf of our Board of Directors of the Carlsbad Educational Foundation, I'm honored to be with you here tonight. I'm pleased to present our fifth annual CEF scholarships in the areas of STEAM, music, and innovation. We will be awarding a total of 15 $1,000 scholarships to graduating seniors this year to join the 39 students to date with nearly $40,000 supporting their college education. The Carlsbad Educational Foundation supports all 11,000 students in the Carlsbad Unified School District every day by developing and funding programs in our public schools. Our goal is to ensure Carlsbad students have the educational opportunities they need to be successful in today's world. CEF develops and funds high school programs like robotics, science lab teaching assistance and supplies, music programs and musicals, and Science Olympiad right here at Carlsbad High School. In addition, we continue to develop and introduce new programs such as Finance Park, Semi-High Tech U, and the CEF Student Leadership Council. In our middle and high schools, we invest in innovative STEM and music programs that prepare our students for ev the evolving world of tomorrow, funding over $1.2 million of support just last year. Our goal is to provide opportunities for students to find their passion for science or their passion for music or simply a passion for learning so they can reach their fullest potential. Tonight, we are excited to honor eight outstanding students from Carlsbad High School who have not only found their passion, but also embraced the opportunities presented to them. Our selection committee reviewed the traditional factors of excellence but in addition, these students were chosen because they effectively shared how the opportunities impacted their futures as they pursue their higher education beyond Carlsbad High. And now, please join me in honoring the following Carlsbad High School students, our 2020 Carlsbad Educational Foundation's $1,000 College Scholarship Award recipients. Congratulations to Katherine Allen. Katherine will be attending UC Berkeley studying journalism and media this fall. Finn Corrigan. Congratulations, Finn. He will be attending UCLA and plans to teach high school. Shayla Eslampour, who will be attending UC Berkeley as a pre-med major studying biology to become a physician. 
congratulations to Edward Gardner, who will be attending Dartmouth University as a social sciences major working towards equity in education and sports. Arun Grover, who will be attending UC Berkeley majoring in music and physics. Congratulations to Shada Moazi, who will be attending MIT studying computer science and engineering. Reagan Phillips, who will be attending UC Berkeley to study communications with minors in entrepreneurship and Spanish. And our 2020 Science Olympiad Scholarship Award recipient provided by Viasat is Viral Patel, who will be attending UCSD or UC Berkeley this fall, studying bioengineering as a major. Congratulations to all of our scholarship award recipients and have a great evening. The Carlsbad Unified Teachers Association, also known as CUDA, awards scholarships each year to qualified students whose parent is a teacher within the Carlsbad Unified School District. This year's recipients are Alexandra Bai, Samuel Chacon, Madeline Dufault, Maggie Dunn, Matthew Knox, Rachel Kramer, Cameron Kremers, Jake Kremers, Megan Little, Ethan Long, Emma Lupica, Amelia Penrod, and Jackson Skellett. Congratulations. Good afternoon. I want to present to you the 2020 Friday Night Lights Flag Football uh, Football Scholarship. Uh, I am the co-commissioner uh, with Paul Publico of our league. Our league has been around for almost 10 years now, and we've each year giving, uh, giving a scholarship to a deserving football player from Carlsbad High. This year, the deserving football player is Dylan Quinn. Dylan maintained a 3.8 GPA, outstanding student, along with being a two-year starter on our varsity football team. Uh, Dylan is going on to play at USD, which he's gonna do great things. Dylan, we're so happy and proud of you, and I wanna present this scholarship from Friday Night Lights. Thank you. Again, congratulations to all of our student recipients and to all of you for joining us and supporting our students this evening. It's been a, a strange spring for us, for sure, but tonight uh, and the awards that we see here are a reminder uh, of all the great things uh, that our students have to look forward to in the future. And we appreciate all of you uh, as participants and donors and being a part of this evening. Congratulations again to all of our students, and we truly wish you the best as you leave Carlsbad and head off to great things in the future.